Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome back to my bathroom. Today I wanted to share with you my little beauty routine for the morning, for the evening, everything that I do. You guys, I was here shooting my thumbnail and I realized I forgot the most important information in this video, which is basically what my skin type is. So I have very sensitive skin. You will see that my skin gets a little bit flustered and a little bit red with any type of touching or tugging. I suffer a little bit from rosacea from time to time. It flares up more when I am overheating or if I do anything too drastic or too aggressive around this cheek area, around my nose. I don't have a lot of flaking, I don't have a lot of acne or scarring, I don't suffer from oily skin, my skin is pretty balanced, in the winter time it gets a little bit drier and in the warmer months it gets a little bit oilier. My hair is fine, I don't have a lot of it, it falls, so you will see that the treatments and the products that I use are also catering those issues. That's it, back to the video. I have just washed my hair and I don't know if I actually told you this on my hair care routine video I like to wash my hair separately from my body a little bit weird I know but the thing is I like to take showers that are very very hot I know that is not good for you I know that I will age a lot faster but I really don't want that very hot water touching my scalp by doing it separately I can actually have the water temperature way down which is better for my hair so I just washed my hair and I wanted to share with you guys a few new things that I have been doing I washed it with my classic products that I've shown you before so my Christophe Robin little paste the L'Oreal Low Pool Shampoo I didn't apply this product today but whenever I want a little bit more hydration and nutrition I wear this mask by Meravita but I did not apply this today because I have been testing out a little technique that I searched the internet for. I have uh, been taking hair burst, the little supplements, for a few months now. Wait, and I actually have to take them now as well. They're so cute. They're kind of chewable vitamins that look like this. They taste great. Hopefully I'm not killing myself by taking them. Go to a dermatologist. And on the hair burst side, I saw that they had micro needling tools for your hair. And I got into searching it. I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently it is very effective to incentivize hair growth. And you can see that on the head, they have these little needles. Can you see it? And these have the length of... 0.25 millimeters I have heard that for this to be very effective you need longer needles but since this is my first time trying this technique and this treatment out I didn't want to go too intense do I look lovely or what? Alrighty, so let's start microneedling. This takes a little bit of time because you want to do it with your hair in sections and you want to be very vigorous with the microneedling. So you basically section your hair and you roll the little device from the root towards the length of the hair. So what I do is I hold my hair like this and go downwards you really do not have to be too delicate the idea is for those needles to penetrate and then i do the same thing in the other direction so i'm just going to repeat this all over my head it's not painful 
I've heard some people online saying that it has to be painful for you to feel like it's working. It's just a little pinch. So you don't feel like you're hurting yourself. Honestly, guys, I think that it's so important to find the root cause of things. I did get some blood work done. Now I have to take it back to my doctor. I'm sure that this might be some sort of vitamin deficiency. So these are kind of treatments that help but are superficial if you're not really taking care of your food intake and drinking a lot of water and just getting the supplements that you actually need hair burst is one that i thought i would start taking just because i am very lazy when it comes to taking vitamins so if they taste good and are easy to ingest i'm all for it but i am completely aware that uh, once i get the results from my doctor if hair burst is not what i need to take then i'll just stop taking it all right now i have punched holes all over my scalp so it's time to apply something that will be absorbed by the scalp and treat the hair even further i have been using the ordinary peptide serum for hair density this came highly recommended i love that it is not too expensive so i'll just put it on the palm of my hand and we'll kind of massage it into my roots now moving on to skincare in the morning i like something that is very easy very practical i do not do a 12-step korean skincare routine because i don't have the discipline i don't have the time i don't have the patience so i like products that are simple but that work the first thing i do is wash my face i wash my face in the mornings and in the evenings using the same cleanser which is this one by la roche posay i am a huge fan of any cleansing product by la roche posay vichy aven i think that those very simple yet gentle cleansers are great as a base for cleansing your skin if you have other needs in terms of maybe acne maybe oil production you can use something else that will be a little bit more deep cleaning but for my skin that is a little bit sensitive i think something like this works really well i don't feel like my skin is parched or ultra sensitive after i use this it is exactly what i need and i try not to mess with it too much so if something works i just keep on using it Something that I don't like to do is using warm water to wash my face. I think it's much more refreshing to use cold water, which is why I also don't wash my face in the shower, but I wash it in the sink. I also don't drag the towel on my face, I pat it because I really do feel like the cotton can kind of scratch the surface of my face and having sensitive skin, everything makes me go a little red. So I try my best to avoid any type of friction or aggressive gesture. <sighs> Squeaky clean. I've talked about this before on my channel and it's something that bothers me all through winter up until like May or July, which is the fact that around my nose, for some reason, I always get kind of scaling skin. I think it's because I blow my nose and with the cold, the wind, it starts to kind of flake off and it actually looks like my nose is kind of dirty, which it's very annoying when I'm filming a video and then when I go to see the footage I have like these little flakes of skin that look like you know my nose is dirty but <laughs> to try and avoid that something that really helps and this is something that I did on a pinch and for some reason I kept doing it and it really worked I like to apply Avene's lip balm 
This is their cold cream lip balm. On the places that I feel like I'm scaling, so maybe here, in the corners of my lip, it works really well. Even on my lids, if the weather is really dry and really cold, I start feeling like my eyelids are a little bit dry. I apply this and they magically go back to normal. And I just put it on before putting anything else just so it has time to absorb. Also, morning and night, I like to apply my Laneige lip mask. In the morning, I'll put on a very thin layer, so just a tiny little bit, and I will spread it really well. And in the evening, I will do a thicker layer. To prepare my skin for the mornings, I like to use my fresh rose deep hydration face cream i thought i would only wear this at night but i actually wear it both during the mornings and during the evenings i think it is such a fluffy hydrating cream that in the tub looks a little bit heavier but actually dissolves perfectly in the skin when it comes to summertime i probably won't be using this because it might be a little too heavy but for colder days, I think it works really well. I try and give myself a glorious face massage while I'm applying this. Just to make it not only penetrate better, but to wake up my skin. Wake up those puffy eyes and droopy face. And get me ready for the day. Especially in this area, I feel like it can get a little bloated. So just by doing this, it's like taking off a bra. <laughs> and then final step of my skincare, I do not apply eye cream. Usually I feel like it doesn't work for me. <laughs> I have tried many and I feel like they are just a face cream in a tinier bottle. I'll just put on my moisturizer and try to bring it up to here and that is all I do. After my moisturizer has been absorbed, I put on some sun protection. This is from a brand that I really like called Isden. It is their gel cream dry touch SPF 50. What I like about this is the fact that it is a little bit less oily. I hate putting on sunscreen and then having it drip into your eyes and it hurts really, really bad. So something that is a little bit drier won't move as much. I like to apply a generous amount, especially on my cheeks that are a little bit more sensitive. This one under makeup is not ideal. It does peel a little bit. Today I'm not applying foundation. I'll just put on some concealer and some cream blush and bronzer. So I don't really mind that. In days where I am actually going to put on makeup, I use my Dermalogica moisturizer sunscreen that I talked about in my half empty video that I actually have to buy again. But that one is really great because it's more of a moisturizer, more of a cream. So when you put it on your face, it absorbs and doesn't move a lot. This one is more of a shield. So for day to day, it's great. Now for my hair, I will just add a little bit of Moroccan oil on the ends. Just a little pump, like half a pump. My hair is really fine, so if I put on more than that, it looks kind of greasy and gross. And just on the tips of my hair. Now I'm going to dry this part of my hair, just to make sure that it kind of sets and doesn't look all frazzled. Then I'll put on some makeup and then we are done. Let's start the day. Hey everyone, much later now. I have just taken a shower, brushed my teeth, flossed, always floss, don't forget. And now I'm going to do my nighttime routine. So I do not have a lot of makeup on, but 
I still really like using a cleansing balm just to make sure that I don't have anything on my face. When I don't have a lot of makeup on but I feel a little bit lazy, I will use a micellar water like the Garnier one, it's really good. But this is just for days when I'm like completely beat and don't have the energy. The reason why I like to use a cleansing balm, I have talked about this before, is to be able to massage my face really deeply and get the circulation going. So not only to have a clean surface, but also to prepare my face for all of the other things that I'm going to put on. So let me put my hair back. With my short little hair, I cannot do a bun, so I just do a ponytail. I really like using these kind of silky hair ties because they don't break my hair. The cleansing balm that I like to use is the one from Elemis. Talked about this before, so good, smells amazing. Very efficient in taking your makeup off, very emollient as well, so will give you a lot of slip if you want to massage your face then what you do to remove it is you either use a little cloth like the one that comes with the balm or you can just splash water on your face emulsify the balm and it will turn kind of milky and come off so i take a good dollop like this and start spreading it around my face for a face massage you can use your hands you can use a roller like a jade or quartz roller. I love to use a gua sha stone, but mine dramatically, tragically shattered on the floor. It was the whole thing. It was there doing my face massage. It slipped out of my hands in slow motion and shattered into a million pieces. And I was so sad. So I haven't managed to substitute it yet, but what I do sometimes, and now I'm doing it more because I don't have my gua sha, is use my little Foreo Iris. This has been designed for massaging your eye, but I like the movement so much that I just use it all over my face. And it has the hypersonic technology from Foreo, which is really good for getting a very deep massage. So you just turn it on and it'll start to vibrate and then as you increase the speed it will do kind of this movement and you just use it to get in there and the good thing is that given that it is made of silicon you can just rinse it off clean it out and it's super hygienic as well got my little cloth wet with some warm water and i'll just gently but firmly take off the excess that is left on my face. This also helps a little bit, kind of as an exfoliator. Now I'm going to wash my face with the same cleanser that I used this morning. Like I said, I don't like to be very complicated, so I just use kind of the same things. Morning, evening, change a few steps, real life here. A few nights a week, I like to use a toner. I either go for this Use to the People Kombucha. It's a little tester that I've been really liking. It has lactic and glycolic acids, black tea, tree bark, very natural as well. But given that today my skin is a little bit more sensitive, I thought I could actually go for the Fresh Rose Dip Hydration Facial Toner, which has more of a calming effect on the skin and more hydrating effect so it's not going to irritate so much the surface of my skin so i just apply it on a little cotton pad and gently apply it to my face you can see that just by cleansing my face i already start getting red here that's why I try not to exfoliate my face too much. I don't use too many acids, but I'll get red anyway. So I guess it's normal. Something I have to deal with and accept. I'll wait for this to absorb and then I'll move on to serum. 
and something that I have been using a lot and I've seen a great deal of results is this Valeda skin food. I had the most bruised hands during winter when I put up my Christmas tree. I got all these scratches and then it was super cold outside so it turned into actual wounds on my hands. I started applying this and all of it went away and I just was left with the most soft baby skin on my hands. So I really, really recommend this. Valeda is a very natural brand. So again, if you have sensitive skin, if you feel like other hand creams kind of give you that burning sensation on the surface of your skin, of your hands, try this instead. It's really, really good, smells amazing kind of like eucalyptus. Now that the toner has sunk into my skin, I will apply my serum, which is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This is a cold product for a reason. I really like, again, the Ordinary with their straightforward, pure ingredients will give you the results that you expect. So I just get a few drops on my hand and I'll kind of pat it on my skin. Hyaluronic acid will also help with the penetration of any moisturizing product that you put on top of it. It's, I think they call it a humectant. So it's a great way of making your skin draw moisture in instead of just leaving it on the surface. For days like today, when my skin is a little bit red, a little bit finicky, I like to put on the Tolerance Control from Aveen. It is sort of a calming cream for areas of your face that can get a little bit flared up. I apply it only to my cheeks, just here. And for the rest of my face, I will go in again with my fresh rose dip hydration face cream and i try to shy away from the area where i apply the other cream just so that i don't over stimulate my cheeks and then they get kind of irritated so it's better to just let them be bring it down to my neck always very important I will repeat again the same step as I did this morning. We'll apply a little bit of the Aven Cold Cream Lip Balm on the crinkles of my nose. And lastly, we'll apply my Laneige Lip Mask. In the evenings, I apply a much more generous layer. So I wake up with the softest lips ever. This is it, you guys. I am ready for bed. This is my little skincare routine. I know it's nothing new or groundbreaking, but I really wanted to share with you because many of you have asked. You will see that I do not use crazy products. I try and shy away from things that are too harsh. My skin does not handle that well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. As usual, I love to hear it. How do you handle your skin? What kind of products do you like? Do you use any of the products that I showed you? Let me know down below and we will see each other again next time. Bye!